Okay, now we're going to connect the power supply to each of the stepping motor drivers. We're going to take one um, or a black and a red wire, the ground to the and the um, the ground and the 36 volts. We're going to bring it over to the first stepping motor, stepping motor driver. Then from the first stepping motor driver over to the next one, and then so on, just looping in until we get to the last one. So I'm going to strip this wire, it's a red wire, and I have to get an L shape here, get it in. This is the pluses over here on the left hand side. Okay, now we'll take the black wire. Put it to the ground side. Oh, these are fine. That's all. Because they don't need to. They're not easy for us. Okay, that's all. So now we just run these wires to the screwdrivers. Since I'm going to have walls in this location, I'm just going to measure it like this. Just get enough. And this is going to go into the ground. And I'm bringing it around this side and opposed to this side because I don't want I want to get as far away from the signal wires as possible. So try to separate as much of the high current wires from the low current wires. Okay, the red one. I'm going to determine the length of that. Take this one out because I need to loop it with the next one. So. And I'm was thinking about twisting them just a little bit anyway, just to make it a little bit neater. Now we're going to loop another set of wires. And the red red wire goes into VCC, and the black wire goes into ground. Now we're just gonna take it to this next ground. It's gonna be hard to get as far away from these as possible. Now we need to loop another one. So the red ones, loop them. Okay. Now we're gonna. Uh, now we have power from the power supply to all of the drivers. Now we need to connect the the connectors. Um, for the for the face plate, we're going to connect these to the the appropriate um, the appropriate stepping motor driver. Now we're ready to put the connectors on, and you'll have this uh, nut for the connector, and these wires will be um, already connected. We're going to start with this one. This one has the longest wires because the X connector is farthest away from the actual stepping motor driver. So we're going to just screw this on here, and we're going to. Um, put in the uh, one, two, three, and four into the A plus, A minus, B plus, and B minus, respectively. A plus, one, A minus, two, B plus, three, B minus, four. And you'll have a little dot next to the number one. So number one is right here. If you follow the, the wire back, there's a little dot here. There's also numbers on the back, so you'll be able to see that. 
So I'm going to start with number one. And this can be somewhat away from the from the driver. Uh, number two is this one here. And it goes around counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And if you want, you can twist these over a little bit so they stay together. Make sure you test it to make sure it doesn't come out. Right, number three is next. Okay, and then number four. Okay, so those are all connected. All right, so that's the first one. We're going to get the medium length wires and then go to the next one. Y. Okay, now twist the little cables there, and now we can get them fastened to the faceplate. I'll just loosely do that right now. To get them on there. One thing I do want to do is try to get these as low as possible, out of the way as much as possible, so they don't get too close to these signal wires. And I need to, I may have to um, put some kind of insulation around them, <coughs> or wire tie them. I'll probably wire tie them to a little location. And if they are too short and they're getting too close and I have a problem, then what I'll do is I'll lengthen these wires and put them around the back. So what I will do now is um, fasten this plexiglass to the, to the base. Um, okay, so we're going to fasten the plexiglass to the, to the base using one and a half inch screws and cross dowels, and we'll use one, two, three, four of them. And I generally put the cross dowel upside down with uh, the slot facing downward, so we, you can, if you need to, um, adjust it as you're screwing the screw into the cross dowel. And like the other ones, I'm not going to tighten it 